star. And the winner is... <laughs> na talaga ito, sabi ng congregation. Sekular. I think yung document na signed ni Cardinal Sanchez. Sabi niya, <coughs> The secular diocesan priest. <laughs> <laughs> When made to choose, choose both. So, pwede naman papiliin ka, piliin mo na yung dalawa. So, ganun din. The secular diocesan priest. So, we should not be afraid of the term secular. We are secular. In secular, secular, in this world, but also, in this world, but, ano yan? We are in this world, but not of this world. We do not belong to this world. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. So our eternal life begins here on earth. That is why we have to value everything that is worthy, in quotation marks, that is of this world. We have to value anything that is created by God. And of course, respecting its proper function, its proper nature. Just like last August 8, 2008, 8 o'clock in the morning, I married a couple there in UP, UP Diliman, uh, holy, holy sacrifice parish. Parang hindi naman masyado in Chicago, palagay ko medyo Chinese din sila, 8888. And then medyo na late na konti, grabbing traffic sa Ateneo, in front of the Ateneo. Kasi dati, yung mga lumalabas ng Ateneo, aakyat muna papunta i- papuntang UP, Balara, and then doon mag-i-U-turn. And nag, may biglang magandang idea yung polis, yung is na paikutin pa doon yung mga galing Ateneo, nag-vote sila ng dalawang U-turn slots. So lahat ng galing Ateneo, yung is na umakit pa, dito na mag-cross. So pag nag-cross ka, gumawa ka ng intersection doon pa alin. So lahat ng umakit doon, nabablock. Kasi may mga nag u turn galing sa kanan pupunta doon sa kaliwa. So I was 1 hour 15 minutes doon sa harap ng Ateneo. <laughs> yung stretch na galing alis ako 6.20 sa Holy Apostles. 6.40 na sa harap na ako ng Ateneo. 6.40. Nakalabas ako doon mga 6.50. Mga 7.55 na. Alas 8 yung misa. <laughs> so pag nakas lang 5 minutes na sa new na ako gaga. Kasi wala nang truck. Sa yung mga user new car. So 8 o'clock pag dating ko nandun si Father Adrian Magnait. Kasi kung siya lagrat na ako. Sabi, sabi ko, oh, nagsimula na. Ay, hindi pa, nalate siya na. Tapos sabi ko, tingin ko na rin na ako. Pag start ng misa, mukhang hilinta yata yung 8.08 in the morning. <laughs> sabi ko, buti siya, nahulit pa. Ang 8.8.8.8.8. Hilinta yata. Anyway, going back. Na even marriage. Uh, marriage. The beauty of marriage. But we have to respect marriage. We have to respect the nature of marriage. Sabi ko doon sa homily, yung marriage is like, it's like ang, um, kasi mga taga-UPHH, yung mga kinasal. Na actually, nakilala nila ako kasi nag-vocation campaign ako na positive doon sa UP Diliman, yung mga April, after kong uh, in-explain ko na yung Holy Apostles, 48 vocations, 25 to 40 years old, 2 years work experience, and then college graduate. And then in-explain ko ng konti, ng college na ako sa college, sa UP Spanyols, and then ng 2 years medicine ako sa UPBGH. In-explain ko, vocation campaign to the priesthood. After ng mass, may lumapit sa akin. Sabi ko, so effective yung ating homily. May bigay mo lapit. Tapos mamaya, ang lalaki, tapos mamaya, may babaling lumapit din. Sabi ko na so, kasi madre ko, kasi mag madre ko. <laughs> Tapos sabi sa akin, Father, magpapakasal ko sa akin. <laughs> Ibang vocation yun. <laughs> Nahuli ko. <laughs> Tapos sabi, Father, pwede ko kayo mag-miss at uh, August 8. Uh, August 8. At sabi ko, okay. So, sabi ko sa mas, yes, marriage, no? napakaganda, vocation din yan. Hindi lang pagpapari, hindi lang mag-madre. Vocation kasi may calling to love one another and to form a family. Meron vocation din kasi challenging. Kagaya ng priesthood, challenging marriage. It's a very challenging vocation. And vocation of the pastor is grace of God. Ganun din sa atin sa priesthood. Ang daming challenges, but there is that grace of God. Pag tayo lang, hindi natin kaya sa marriage ganun din. And also, we have to follow. We have to follow the nature of marriage. 
to follow the nature of the priesthood was. Kung ano ba talaga? Dati mga, mga pinag-uusapan, sa libasi, no? dapat sa optional yung sa libasi, sa priesthood. At pwede optional naman talaga yung sa libasi. Ayan, pag gusto mo din sa libasi, kung gusto mo magpari, magsalibasi ka. Kung ayaw mo maging celibate, huwag ka magpari. And so may option nga ako rin. <laughs> Hindi naman for you <laughs> celibacy. Optional yung celibacy, kasi optional naman yung priesthood. Pag ayaw mo din celibate, huwag ka magpari. It's like basketball. Kung gusto mo magbasketball, sundan mo yung rules of the game. Kung gusto mo magbasketball, hindi pwede yung double. Ano yan? Dribble. Double ka, hindi pwede. Ikopal ka. So, ganun din sa Christod, sa Mary, so on. So, and the world, in general, ganun din. So, sundan natin yung mga laws, the rules and regulations that come from the very nature of these realities. Just like an airplane. Kung yung airplane, may design yan. Ano ba yung design ng airplane para lumipad? So dapat niya pilot, sundan niya yung manual, sundan niya yung design ng airplane. Pag hindi niya sinundan yung airplane, yung design ng airplane, mag-crash. So tayo ganun din. Any reality in this world, tignan natin yan. Yan mo naman ang ginagawa natin. Ako di ba? Tayo yung philosophy, bakit tayo yung theology. We try to turn, to examine the nature of things para maari natin ang maari natin sundan not in the sense na not only in the negative sense baka bumagsak yan pag hindi mo sinundan but also in the positive sense pag alam natin pag aralan natin we can maximize its use we can maximize no, the nature of that reality and bring about more good realities of this world would bring us to eternal life eternal life begins in this world and in all these realities we put in Christ when we receive Christ we share this life our life on earth is our preparation for our life in heaven our life on earth will surely end that is one thing that we are all sure of that we will one day we will die one day and of course unless to nothing the second judgment End of the world. But if not, we will all die. But we do not know when. But now we know that yes, now we are always ready. Maalala ko si, kasi nag-aral din pala ako sa Don Bosco, doon sa Victoria, sa Bacola, sa Negros. Maraming kinukwento noon sa amin, maliit pa kami noon, si Saint Dominic Sabio. Dominic Sabio. Saint siya doon siya kasama ni Don Wasco. One day, tinanong daw sila, nagpo-football yung mga bata. Tinanong sila, isa-isa, so ikaw, anong gagawin mo? Halimbawa, tinawag ka na ng Panginoon, tatawagin ka ng Panginoon, mamayang gabi. Ang mga matay ka na mamayang gabi. So, anong gagawin mo? So, yung mga bata, kanya-kanya sagot. Ay, sabi ng isa, ah, dapat talagang magpapakabait ako. Ah, dapat magkukonfess ako. Ah, dapat kausapin kay ating mga kamag-anak, hindi ako ng tawad, and so on. Dapat imit ko yung kaibigan ko, magpababay ako, ang daming mga sagot. Pagdating kay St. Dominic Sabio, tinanong din siya, Dominic, anong gagawin mo? Umamiyang gabi, tatawagin ka ng Panginoon. Sabi ni St. Dominic Sabio, kung tatawagin ako ng Panginoon, umamiyang gabi, patuloy ako sa football ngayon. Ano, magpo-football pa rin ako. They were playing football. So, so, not today, not today. Because he knew he was ready. He was ready. Ready to, to be called by the Lord anytime. Because he lived this life as just like, just like in, a, in, a, in, in what, a, according to what life actually is, according to the nature of life. What is the nature of life? A preparation. Uh, for life in heaven. He knew he was with God. His life was for God. So, kung tawagin siya ng Panginoon, pareha lang. Pareha lang. Christ is our source of strength in the Eucharist. In the book of Kings, 1 Kings 19, 4 to 8, sabi uh, about the prophet Elijah, he looked and there at his head, was a hearth cake and a jug of water. 